That's Alyssa? No, she's still on the honeymoon. This is Stitching at the Cabin. Today is October 7th, 2020? October 7th, 2020. It is a Wednesday, I do believe. The debate is on tonight. Um, yeah, my husband will be joining us as soon as he comes in, so it might be in a weird place instead of at the end, but uh, he's on his way home from work right now and he's got stuff to do, so he wants to just run in, ask me the questions, and then skedaddle so stick around don't be surprised if it's in an odd spot um i have whips haul i need to spin and just a teeny tiny bit of other i mean teeny tiny this shouldn't be long you can tell if it was or not i don't think it will be okay so as always we have keto ketoopolis and keto is still ketoing I don't need to point out where I am because it's really pretty obvious. I did a lot of this head piece, tiara, whatever it is this morning, and I have to say it looks a little weird, this darker part at the top, and I will recheck my colors, but I suspect it's one of those things like once you get everything around it filled in, it's gonna look normal. But to me, I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know. And I do know I had one color wrong this morning, but it was only three stitches and I fixed it. But I kept thinking, why is this greenish color in here? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. You know, we already knew that. Okay, I have my Chatelaine. It's behind everything and I'm knocking stuff down. Oh, there's my phone. Wow, this is like my first day, huh? Okay, Chatelaine. I'm still on this side. I thought I did quite a bit. Um, you'll be able to tell with the before and after. I cannot. I don't remember, but I know I put in more up here and I finished a lot of that and I did that one. <laughs> I think it was that one. And then today I was doing the, the gray. Um, so the only thing really left is the, the blank spots in here, these whole blank things, which I hate with a passion. So that's gonna take a little while. There's some back stitching, and I need to fill in these. Well, that one doesn't have one, but these two little things. It really shouldn't take that long. I'm thinking a week or two, and this whole thing will be done. And then we've got that, and then the outside stuff. Woo! I still don't think I'll finish it this year, but I think it's gonna be pretty close. If I just quit my job, I could totally finish this. Tempting. So there's my Chatelaine. It's Herbularius. I do not know what that fabric is, as I've said previously. I believe it's 28 count. Something about queen or French or lace, I don't know. Um, I got it at an actual stitchy store. So it's not like I ordered it online and I can go back and look. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my temperature tree even though it's at the bottom of the list. Not because, you know, it deserves to be higher. It's just I always put it at the bottom because I make a list on my notes of like my stuff, Alyssa's stuff, and then the stuff we share. So the temperature tree is always at the bottom and a little indented. There's no Alyssa. Like I said, she's still on the honeymoon. But they didn't go camping, so she's just home. And like today, she needed to go to the eye doctor but well, it was actually yesterday. She needed to go to the eye doctor because she broke one of her lenses and they couldn't see her until like November. And then I got a uh, text from the eye doctor because I needed to go to, and they said they had an opening today at noon. And I was like, whoa, she should do that. So I called her, she's like, I'm on my honeymoon. I don't want to go get my eyes checked. I was like, oh no, honey, that's not, no. I get you on your honeymoon, but you're home. And the plans today were to take Jacob's mom to the orthodontist. I was like, that is not a romantic honeymoon retreat so you could go get her eyes checked she ended up going to get her eyes checked she said i'll talk to jacob and see what he thinks i should do fortunately go jacob he said she needed to go get her eyes checked and she she sent me some pictures while she was at the eye place so i know she did it so that's good and it'll be nice because she's going to get the lenses that don't have the glare thing now so i won't have to like squint and Ugh, take migraine medicine when I look at it because sometimes she stands in the office and looks at me and the window reflects right into her glasses and then right into my face. And I'm like, hey. So she's going to get the right ones. That's Alyssa. Hey. Uh, 
She's talking about the weather. It's supposed to be cooler tomorrow. She's not actually talking to me. It's a group text and I just happen to be in it. Okay, so it's still been hot. It's hot. It was in the hundreds all week. So 37 Celsius and above for a week. It is starting to cool down a little bit, but I mean, we're going down a few degrees at a time. It's not like a big whopping, you know, 10 degrees or anything. But I did read that by the end of the week, it should be, if not fall, but less summer. So all, all the leaves are just, I really need to work on this branch. I meant to do it when I updated this the last time, but I didn't have time. So the next time I take this out, which should be maybe Friday, hopefully, I need to finish that. And probably that, because that doesn't look like that's how that's supposed to end. I'll figure it out. But anyway, temperature tree. It's still temperature Hotly. Very, very, very hotly. Hot. 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 I know some of you, because I watch a lot of floss tube, some of you are like, oh, it's so cold, and I'm making banana bread and pumpkin stuff, and I'm like, it's hot, and it's miserable. I like to complain. Okay, I actually am not gonna show you what I did on the weekend first. My husband was working in the garage a couple days this week. I actually started, I didn't start another project. This is not a new start, but I worked on something that I haven't worked on for a while. And I chose this because it was small and I could stitch in hand and not have to like set everything up. So I think I worked on this twice this week. Um, but it was exciting. Oh, not too close. Not too close. Some of the acorns from Blue Flower. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh no, I think my needle just fell off. I heard a thunk. Oh, here it is. Hang on. Hold please while we save the universe. Don't want anyone to get needled. There we go. I think, yeah, I think that's the right direction. Yeah, that's the right direction. So I did more of this. I did that. I did a few leaves, a few leaves. Nothing overwhelming, nothing amazing, but it's pretty, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. I like having a small project I can work on like this in, in the evenings that, you know, you can just grab and, and stitch in hand. It's nice. I don't like stitching in hand and I can't stitch as long because it makes my hand hurt, but it's nice to have the ability to do it if I want to do it because my husband kind of took over the spot I was using in the garage because he's doing some welding stuff and he needs to be able to sit down and by the table I was using. So we're gonna have a fight. Oh, I forgot to put the pattern back in. We're gonna have a fight for that spot. He suggested I bring out an extra office chair that I have. But if I bring out that extra office chair, then Steve won't sit in my office. Sometimes in the morning when he comes down, he'll sit in my office for a little while in the chair and we chat and whatever. I would miss that. I mean, I love my husband. I wanna sit with him too, but I feel like there's got to be another option so I don't lose the office chill because it's harder to get my son to want to spend time with me than my husband. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so this weekend I worked on Villa Mirabilia. I was going to say a Chatelaine. That is not a Chatelaine. Please do not go searching the Chatelaine website for the Mirabilia. You will not find it. That's what she's going to look like. She looks a lot like that. While I didn't get to stitch the entire weekend, because, you know, we had to come home, I did get a lot of stitching time, and I did enjoy it immensely. We took Taco and Tango to the cabin. Um, I think I have a picture of Tango at the cabin. If I do, I'm going to insert it in just a second, but I'm giving you a heads up. If you don't like birds, if they scare you, look away now. There's Tango at the cabin, and Taco's in the background, maybe. If I didn't put that in, Tango's a cockatoo, he's white, he's cute, and yeah, he really likes my husband right now. Not me so much. Every time I got close to him, he'd fa 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 fa. Except at night, he would come to me and hi, hi. He's crazy. Speaking of crazy birds, while we're on the subject, so those of you scared of birds, just a second, there won't be a picture. Today I was in my office, and as always, I went out to the bird room, I don't know why. Because I usually go in and say hi a few times. 
and I, uh, I was at the sink and I was like washing my hands. I don't know why. Oh, I ate a piece of baklava. Mm. And so my hands were sticky. And so I uh, then walked into the billiard room, which is right next to the office. And I look and, and Ami's cage, Ami's the African gray. His, he has a balcony on his cage and it was down. Usually it's in a locked position and it was down. And Kevi Momo, the big hyacinth, he was standing on the open so cool. balcony looking in at Ami. I started screaming, Steve, 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 because once Kevin is on a cage, you can't get him off. So what had happened was we have a like a lock thing on Kevin's cage because he's he is so smart. He's like a little mechanic and he manages to get himself out if you don't put this little lock thing on it. Well, the lock was on it, but he managed to push hard enough on the part that goes down that he was able to get it past the lock thing and get his cage open. And then he flopped up onto Ami's and it's like a swingy lock thing. He swung it out of the way, apparently got out of the way and the thing dropped and then he crawled back up. So it took Steve quite a while, but he eventually got Kevin back in the cage and secured. But man, that bird is smart. Okay, I heard my husband come home, so he may walk in any second. Let me show you this real quick. Here's Mirabilia. It's the whole thing. I again looked up here in the plant holding arena. Um, I did do a little bit going this way of the, the border, but mostly you'll know this plant, a lot of the plant, and a little bit more of the plant hold the thingy contraption. So yeah, yeah, I still really enjoy it. I mean, this is a whole chunk of like full coverage over here. Yes, Kim, over there is full coverage. <laughs> this, this chunk is full coverage. If you don't watch Kim, you should. Um, she's an admin for full coverage fanatics, Kim Hollenbeck. She was a good floss to split and stitch her on Instagram. Okay, I'm back. And look, Mike's back. This is my husband. He was nice enough to do the husband tag last weekend. Last weekend, last week. And if you were watching, he said he was gonna ask me color questions. So he's back to ask me color questions and I am absolutely terrified. Like I think I'm even turning red, I'm so scared. Go for it. So I have compiled oh, a God. list of extremely easy questions. <laughs> You're sure this is recording, right? Because I don't want to do this again. Like, super easy, basic questions. I feel like this is a lie. Okay. Steve is in here to be entertained by this. Okay, ready? Yeah. What is, this is the easiest one. Oh, no. What is a Schrader valve? That's for a pump system of some sort. And it, it does, it's a valve with a, for a pump of some kind. It's a pump valve. I actually Googled that the other day because I was sitting <laughs> in the cabin and I was thinking, he's going to ask me what a damn Schrader valve is. No, you and so didn't. I, I did. And no, so you I Googled, didn't. I did. And I Googled, you can look at my history and I Googled it and all it was talking about was a pump and then it's a valve on like a did pump Did you really? Thing. I swear. Why would you think of to look up that? Because you've mentioned that before and I'm always like, that's such a weird thing that can't actually exist. What is it really? It's stupid. It's the valve inside of a tire valve stem. That's oh. what keeps the air from coming out. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Probably. Maybe I looked up a Schroeder valve. Because that's in a pump. Yeah, a Schroeder valve is in a pump. Hey, I tried. I knew you were going to ask me that. It's S-C-H-R-A-D-E-R. -E oh, I looked up O-E-D-E-R. Okay. okay, next question. Okay. They get easier. I hope so. Okay, uh, what's the standard voltage <laughs> on a battery in a car? 12 volts. See? Yay! You got that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got one. <laughs> I'm so relieved. What's a common way to find the correct pressure to set your tires at in newer vehicles? You mean, do you, do you mean the computer tells you on the little no, screen? No, no computers. Well, Where do you find what you're supposed to set your pressure at oh, for the tires? Oh, when you open the... The color door, there's that little taggy inside, okay. and the tag tells you. You got that right. Yay! Um, how many cubic inches is your cu is your Cobra engine? You know, I knew you were going to ask me this, too, and I was like, I thought you were going to ask me about the Cobra, not my coupe. It's not as big as your Cobra. It's a 327. <laughs> 340. 
It's not 340. Mm -mm. Three, two, 280? <laughs> no. What is it? Well, let me just tell you this, okay? I gave Alyssa these questions on the way home. Don't tell me she knew. Okay, she was not too bad. But however, Jacob, he's like, I'm doing math. And she's like, I'm like, what? how are you doing math? There's nothing to do math to figure that out. He's like, I'm trying to convert it from CCs. And Alyssa's like, I didn't know they do it by CCs. I'm like, well, if it's like a little girl engine, it's CCs. Yeah. And she laughed. And she's like, okay, yeah, he figured it out. And I was like, what? And he, she's like, 20. No, it's <laughs> I was like, 20 that. cubic inches. And she's like, yeah, he says 20 cubic inches. <laughs> No. What so, is yeah. it really though? Oh, 347. Isn't that what I said? Nope, you said 340. Well, that was close. Yeah. What's the code? Because I thought that was 347 boiled okay. and stroked. The next question oh, is no. how many cubic inches is my Cobra engine? It's a full 27. Full 27? Okay. Just my guess. Yeah. Well, good guess. I mean, it's got emblems all over well, it. Well, yeah, yeah, but but it's not actually a 427 because it's a three something boiled and stroked. To a 427. Yeah, but yeah. it's not it technically is. It is. a 427. It is. Okay. Okay, it gets even easier. <laughs> that just wasn't easy. Okay. On older American V8 engines. <laughs> okay. On a standard older American V8 engine. Standard. Okay. 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 How many valves do they have? Eight. Is it 16? Is it two valves on Ooh. one? V8. Valve. Valve answers? eight. I say eight. <laughs> so what's that for? The intake or the exhaust? <laughs> okay, 16. Because you only get one or the other. <laughs> 16. <laughs> okay, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, valve eight. <laughs> what is IRS? Independent with suspension. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's also internal revenue service, but... Yeah. Okay, now this is the last one I have. Okay. And this is multiple choice. Oh, okay. So, now there may be a trick oh, one in here. You okay. never know, okay? okay? Okay. Okay, say you're driving on the freeway, right? Oh, no, this is DMV. All right. Okay. Everything seems happy and fine, Okay. <laughs> And then the check engine light comes on. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. What do you do? A, floor it and drive faster. Yes. Is that your answer? No. Okay. Uh, B, abandon it in a parking lot idling until I get home. I might abandon it in a parking lot until you get home, but not idling. Okay. C, Drive it into a curb and see if it shuts off. That might work. Okay. D, put a post-it note over the light. I like that option. As long as the post-it note is thick. Okay. And like a dark color yeah. to block it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Those are my only options? There's one more. Oh, good. Thank God. And this is probably going to be the wild card that <laughs> could be the trick one, okay? Okay. Diagnose with scanner tool immediately. Yes, I'm gonna go. Well, okay, not immediately because I don't want to do it like while I'm on the freeway. Okay. I I would say, <clears throat> see if there's any weird noises or lights or sirens or flashy things, and then call you. Mean you? like a light, like a check engine. No, light? no, something other than that. <clears throat> and then I would call you while driving <clears throat> through the Bluetooth system and say, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And then I would go home and plug the thing in if you told me it wasn't going to explode. That's basically the answer Alyssa gave me, too. Really? She'd just call me. Yeah. But that's not one of the choices there. Okay, well, if I have a I'm choice... I'm trying to make you a strong, self-independent woman. So that's why I'm trying to teach you here. Diagnose with scanner tool immediately. Okay. But I... Okay, first of all, don't know where the scanner tool is. That's the bonus question. Where's the scanner tool? <laughs> I assume it's in the toolbox. Like the top shelf of the toolbox? That, I that actually, lifty I have up no idea where it is. <laughs> okay. It's in a garage shelf. <laughs> and then step two is try to figure out where it plugs in. And usually it's someplace like to the left of the steering wheel because you guys are always like up underneath like looking at stuff. So I assume it's there. And I don't know if it goes into a fuse box or if there's some pluggy port, a computer port thingy, but I assume there's something that, I mean, Google, we could Google it. Steve's like giving me a look. 
No, he's typing. I'm confused. <laughs> I just added another uh, option what for answer. That? Just call Mike. Yes, that's, that's okay. absolutely the one. It's the one we all use. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. You got that one right then. Yay! Yay. <laughs> that's that it? it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was not as difficult as I thought. It was still difficult. I told you I was going to pick very easy ones for you. Yeah, but then this morning you said I was not being a happy camper and you were going to make it more difficult. Mm -hmm. That's why I threw in the last one with the check engine light. Oh, okay. Could trick you. And my smother calls? Where do I win? Dinner. And the debate. I look up DoorDash and then you get to pick. Okay. So what I was trying to say, which may not make any sense because Steve says he may edit this so it's out of order. We just did the husband questions. So I was trying to do the, the spinny wheel. And Alyssa told me it's way too hard for me, a newbie, to edit with the wheel when I do the screen thingy. So I'm just going to turn this around so you can see it. So this will be what I work on this weekend. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. I can feel it vibrating, so I'll be able to tell when it stops, I think. Oh, it sounds like it stopped. Afghan! Woo! I can look on my Christmas Afghan. Watch out, Audrey. I'm going to pass you. I don't know if you've seen Stitchy Witch 42, Audrey's Afghan. She's doing the Halloween one. She has gotten so far on it. That there's no way I can catch her unless I take, like, six weeks off of work. But uh, I'll try. I'll try this weekend. And if Alyssa's watching, haha, -ha, I'm gonna pass you too, suckers. Okay, so I have haul. I said last time I did a little shopping at 123 Stitch. Um, I have since made a purchase from um, Jabco, just another button company, because I needed some buttons for one of these and I need buttons for a couple of other things I had, so I just did it all at once. And I wanna say there's something else, but. I don't know what it is. Maybe I imagined that. I feel like I imagined that. Okay, so let's start with the least exciting stuff. That would be, I needed um, gentle uh, walnut for something. I'm so close to knowing what it is. I think it was that posy thing from Blackbird Design, I think. And then I had mentioned that my uh, Shades of Plum, I had not bought enough floss. So there's more. So those will go with the assorted projects. And then I have a whole bunch of beads for that Mirabilia that I still can't remember the name of, that Princess Ileana, whatever, the one Lenny. Just beads, beads. Beads. I know you can't really see these like super well. Just telling you they're pretty. 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 Beads. Beads. These are, they look big or bright. I don't know. I really like these. They're the 03057. These are all for that Princess Ileana or whatever her name is. The new Mirabilia. So, yeah. I was showing you beads. Okay, is that all the beads? Nothing's making noise. That's probably all the beads. This was the one I told you Janet Jabber caused me to buy. If the shoe fits, will it? Mm, Sue Hillis. I thought that said love. I was like, love Hillis. Um, yeah, and there's even, it shows you on the back, like, how to lace the, the ribbon. It doesn't come with the ribbon, but, I mean, I can buy ribbon, right? Right? Can't be that difficult. So that'll be another fun kind of small. Like, I don't know... I don't know how big that is. I feel like it should say someplace, right? Do, do, do. That's organza ribbon. It can be found on cardboard spools in 15 foot lengths, quarter inch wide at most big box craft stores. Okay. Um, on 14 to 28, 14 slash 28 count, uh, this design fits nicely in a five by seven frame. So yeah, it's 57 wide by 72 stitches high. So yeah, that's a good small. And I will probably, Hopefully start this soon and I'll use the CXC instead of DMC and we'll see how CXC works. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, because I kept saying I need to start something small for DMC and it's Halloween. So yeah, that seems like a good one. This is the one that had the purple choice. I It's Keslin and I had bought something else and I told you guys I can't find the purple option. There used to be a purple option. This one had the purple option, not that one. But looking at the back, I don't like the purple option. 
I like the purple, but I don't like this weird chartreuse color with it. So I may do the blue, or I may do the purple and try to find some kind of like maybe a pinky or a, I don't know, some other color. I don't know. But it's Valdani, which is kind of hard to find if you do the purple. I couldn't find it. One, two, three, stitch didn't have it. So the blue is Gloriana, which I think is probably much easier to find. So I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see when the time comes. But Bended Bridges, Keslin. I like that, that, like, I opened it up just briefly and looked at it, and it's a lot of just long line stitches. Like, it's not cross stitch. I thought that it was just kind of neat, something different. I don't know that there's any cross stitch on that. Maybe the little tiny things. Maybe. I don't know. I cannot remember where I saw this. Somebody did this. I'm leaning towards stitching big things with Hallie, but I could be wrong. Who did it? <laughs> Somebody showed this finished. And it was, I loved it. Why is it that things look so much better in person than they do in the pictures? I don't know. But I fully intend to do this. And this one needed um, the buttons. There's a whole button pack for it. And look, there's a lot of options for floss. There's Sullivan's Anchor and DMC. Lots of options. So I don't know when I'll start that, but I got sucked into it by someone. And then I think this is the last one. Yeah, the last one is Rosewood Manor. I just really like Rosewood Manor and this was on sale. And I know the picture doesn't do it justice because it doesn't with my language of the flowers either. But this is Flowers of Rose Hall. That's the other thing I bought. Amazon actually had the Valdani cheaper than any place else, the set for this. And they only had one and it wasn't prime. So it's supposed to be here Friday. Not swearing to you that it will be, but it's supposed to be. Today's Wednesday, so we'll see in a couple days. That's the other thing I bought. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. Um, yeah, let me just shove all this back in real quick. Okay, I'm not going to shove all that back in real quick. I'll figure it out after. Gather up all the beads. Beads. Okay. Um... So the other I had was the husband color questions. We already did that. You may not have seen it. I think we're going to try to mush it to the end. That was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, file update real quick. Nothing's changed. There's no file really anymore for us. It's on the other side. We're good. I don't think I'll need to update you on the file again. I think we're set. We're going to go back this weekend and roll up the hoses that are out. And we should be done. So yay. Thank you everybody for all the kind things you said. All the prayers, the love, the thoughts, the support. Whatever good juju you sent. Thank you. It worked. Um, oh! I told you that when I got that public ultrasound and I found out I had fibroids, I also had a mammogram that day and blood work. They didn't give me the mammo results when I got all the other results that I requested, but this week the mammo results showed up completely normal. Back to everything's completely fine. I could not be happier. That that is so stressful. After the biopsy thingy I went through last year, earlier this year, whenever it was, I'll never want to do that again. So yay. Um yeah, with the fibroid thing I still haven't seen the doctors, so I don't know, end of October. Um, I don't know that I have anything else to tell you. This is going to be a short one. I have talked to Alyssa. I think I told you she's not actually honeymooning this week, although she refuses to come to work. Um, yeah. I think that's it. I think this is a much shorter episode. So uh, next week, Alyssa should be back. We'll see. And I'm going to have to con someone into editing this. I'm hoping Steve will, but... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when you see this. Hopefully you will. So thanks for coming by. Uh, I hope you found something you liked here. I hope you subscribe. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. You guys have a wonderful week, weekend, rest of whatever, whenever this goes up. And uh, hopefully I'll be back next week. Bye! I got in trouble last time for moving too fast. Bye!